What's up, y'all? The reviewer is here, and I'm back here to give y'all this movie review of Waiting to Exhale. Now, I haven't been doing a lot of movie reviews lately, so I'm gonna start doing more and lay off the album reviews for a while. This movie was directed by Forrest Whitaker, and this movie stars Whitney Houston, may she rest in peace, Angela Bassett, uh, is it Leela or Layla? Rochon, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, and Loretta Devine, all right? Now, this movie came out in 1995. Um, I kind of vaguely remember this movie when it, when it first came out into theaters. I was like a young kid, man. I probably was like 10, probably 11 years old around that time. This movie was in heavy rotation when it first came out, like on TV, things like that. And for those that's wondering, this is the DVD. If you can see it right here. This movie is pretty much a cult classic. You know, this movie is pretty much from a, I should say a black woman's perspective to speak. And they are talking about their problems, divorce situations that they was, you know, fooling around with men and things of that sort. There's a couple of scenes on there that you can probably watch on YouTube. Um, you can get a feeling of how this movie is like. It, it, it starts off with introducing each ladies. Whitney Houston plays Savannah. Angela Bassett plays as Bernadine. Um, Layla plays Robin. And Loretta Devine as Gloria. And they're all talking about <laughs> perspectives of how they deal with men or the situations that they're dealing with, you know, at the time. Bernadine's situation is her husband, who is Michael Beach, and he decided to divorce her. Um, I, I'm not going to explain too much details on that. Um, check it out on YouTube. I think that's probably one of the highest views on there to, to check out that scene. And then you got Robin, who's dealing with men. It's like she's not... She's not in a relationship, but she just mess with men on the low, you know, casual sex thing. And then you had Gloria. Uh, she found out some things about her. Well, should I say husband or was that her boyfriend? Can't remember. About some situations with him. And then you had Savannah. She's dealing with a married man. So she's pretty much the other woman. Like I said, I don't want to get too much into details about it, but the males, I said it before, Michael Beach, then you had Leon on there, then you had um, the guy, I can't remember his name, but y'all may have seen him like on the insurance commercials and stuff like that. He played like a little small part on Girls Trip, is the guy who was trying to hit on the older woman on the movie. Again, I don't know his name. And then you had the guy who plays Troy. That's another good scene too. That's one of my favorite scenes off of the movie as well, is when Troy meeting up with um, Robin and he's trying to get her to go to a barbecue. And, and that's like one of my favorite scenes because it has the Romeo and Juliet theme on there. <laughs> and another scene I like was the part that Wesley Snipes play a little small part and he's just talking to uh, Bernadine about some things. Again, I'm not trying to get into deep into it because I'm not trying to have any spoilers on here. And hell, you can look at some of the credits down there on the um, DVD case. All right. So that's it, though. I'm not going to give a rating on. I don't really give ratings on movies, but I will say this. This film is actually all right. Um, and just from a woman's perspective, if you can take that, then I think you can definitely appreciate watching this uh, movie. And these ladies are fine, man, especially this chick right here. I really dig her. I think she's married now in real life. All of them look good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is a really good film, man. And like I said, now it's a cult classic. You can probably check it out online or if you want to get the DVD yourself. And they do not have the Blu-ray. 
I, I search. But you can find this for a decent price. It's not bad to watch. Forrest Whitaker did a good job directing the film. Um, I heard he was gonna come out with a sequel called Waiting the Happy, something like that. But the fact that Whitney Houston died, um, I don't know if they're gonna ever come out with that sequel. Maybe they have some, un some lost footage out there that we could have probably peeped out or something, but probably not gonna happen. I just wanna say that, all right? So that's it. Shout out to all the actresses here, all the actors on here, all the people who was part of this film, and especially the Forrest Whitaker. He did a good job, like I said. And that's it. Much love to the real folks, and I'll be on here back with another review. All right? Peace out, guys.